morning everyone it is sunday i'm not back from vacation i haven't left for vacation i if you follow me on twitter you know i went back home i was in korea for like a day and a half i'm not even lying and i swear i feel like i haven't slept in like four days it's i think i'm going like borderline delirious i got back like around almost five o'clock in the morning the uber dropped me off i changed into my cozy clothes and i try to fall asleep and and this whole like fasting thing that i'm doing it's just not working out for me right now because i am like my body just feels like not cool this is not gonna work out on my way to ulta to try and get this palette i have something to exchange at ulta so it kind of works out but uh yeah i I can't believe this I'm trying to rationalize things if I wouldn't have done this now and I would have gone on vacation my mom I don't know why I don't know like sometimes like I feel she does it on purpose but I love my mom and I know she has like a lot going on right now I mean she always has a lot going on my mom just stresses out about things but speaking of which I had a really strange dream about my brother I might need to text him because I usually don't have dreams that I remember, sad to say. But the dreams that I do remember, yeah, like, we need to pay attention to those. I had a, like, a little dash for you guys. I had a dream that my brother was watching over me. And that's very, my oldest brother, and it was very strange. And then after that, we found out something had happened. Not, I mean, like, not to him, but to someone that he knew. And I was just like, you know... I got the sense that my brother was worried and sure enough like a couple days later my um, my mom found out that something had happened to someone that he knows or knew. I don't know today's was kind of shady so I might have to tell, talk to my mom about it. I don't know if you're like me but I always talk to my mom about my dreams because my mom I don't know like ever since I could remember like you know they have their like little like I don't know how you even say it. Mom and my aunties would always tell me like what this means and what that means, you know? So I would always remember telling my mom I dreamed about this. She's like, oh, and then like if you dream of fish, that means someone's pregnant. Something like that. And I'm like, okay. It's hot here. I'm not ready for this. It's like rainy in in Asia. I am gonna head to Ulta and then I have to stop by the dollar store. Okay, I'm chatting way too much and I have no idea how much this memory card is gonna hold. So I'm gonna let you all go. I will vlog when I'm at Ulta. Hopefully I can find my palette or I'm gonna be very upset. I do not want to travel very far from this. So hopefully it's here. It said it's in stock, but you know Ulta. So they made me come back tomorrow. I'm gonna be mad. Like, yo, your website thing says it's on in stock, so I want it. And actually, people have already hauled it. So, all right, everyone. I will see you in a little bit. Morning. This is it. Yes. Lips. Got my palette tortillas and then I got this AUX cable this one looked like a better brand it was a dollar so you can't really go wrong with that because mine isn't working so let's go ahead and use it. the only thing I don't like is it is that it's corded but let's go ahead and do that good morning it's 12 away I need to refilm a video because like a day or two ago when i wanted to edit it i just didn't like how it came out so i'm going to refilm that today but today i do have to 
<sighs> I have to work out. Like, I just <laughs> haven't been doing that. I mean, I haven't been eating bad, but... Oh my gosh, yo, like last night. Not last night. Was it? I don't even know. Like the days just don't even make sense anymore. She's just not feeling today. Did you miss mommy? You miss mommy? Next Sunday, it'll be July. So, let me just speed you up what happened. So, Last year, I remember vlogging, and I'm pretty sure I posted that vlog up because I remember hearing myself talk about it. I guess I was rewatching, I was rewatching my vlogs a couple months ago. And I remember mentioning to you all, last year I remember me having to come back for the same exact reason my mom had forgotten to give, in, to give in me, to give me a paper that she had to sign. I have, it's really, and I said this in that video as well, it's none of my business. It's regarding my mom, my uncle, and my aunties, and I guess like land or something. So again, none of my business. But anyways, so I guess my uncle milled out, or I don't know how, but my mom got it, this amended paper. I don't know what it is. I don't. I, it's none of my business, so I'm not going to be looking through that stuff. And that was a couple weeks ago. And then I had, I didn't really plan on going back home. It's just that because the weather in Fiji isn't that great, I was like, I'm not gonna go on vacation and it's raining to, you know what I mean? It wasn't something that was planned that was like, okay, I'm going to Korea this day and I'll be there for like a week or something. It wasn't planned. I was just there and it just kind of happened. I just kind of thought about it like, hey, like there's nothing else to do. I have time off. Let's do that. So, I was in New York for a couple days. It was rough. Like, I had so many meetings, and I'm just like, every day I would just get back, and I would just, ugh, gosh, it's been so hard. Like, ugh, meetings and meetings, mid-year meetings are boring, and then you're in meetings. Oh, my God. Anyways, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Since I came back this morning, I did want to go to the OC, but I stopped myself. First of all, I'm really, really sleep deprived. I should not be driving. I don't know if you can relate, but when you really haven't slept a lot, it's not, I've never been drunk, so I don't know that feeling, but you kind of just feel out of it, like when you're just so sleep deprived. I don't know if many people have experienced this, but I can't just knock out. Like I tried, my mom's like, go to sleep, you know, rest, and it wasn't happening. I just, I would close my eyes for a bit, and then I would like, open them back up and it'd be like 20 minutes 30 minutes i'm just like what's the point and then 11 o'clock came by and well, almost 11 o'clock came by and i was like okay i gotta go to ulta see if they have this palette because i want to make a video before i leave see i just have so many videos going so my current dilemma right now is that my imac has no more space fourth of july is coming up so better believe i'm going i need to get an external hard drive so i was gonna go to the oc to go shopping they were having like a tent sale I wanted to go so bad, but girl, I do not need any more makeup. Like if you, you're gonna see my room in a little bit. I left it like that. And I'm so glad my mom didn't say anything because if I was younger, like if we were living at my old house and my mom saw my room, she would have, mm. I'm just saying like, it is so disgusting. Like, oh my gosh. And I always say that, but it's true. Like it's to the point where it's like, yeah. So, Today, I have to film that video again. I already ran my errands. I went to get those tortillas because today I am making tacos de papa con sopa de tomate. And I remember I filmed that last year, but the way the queen of procrastination works, it just never got uploaded. So I just like thought, hey, let's do that. So right now I'm gonna change into some not as hot clothes because this is not, not really workout apparel i gotta put on some tennis shoes i'm gonna work out for about an hour I, I am still doing kind of like the fasting and i really feel like it's helping the only thing that kills me is i get hungry obviously during those 16 hours but it's like nighttime and you know you shouldn't be eating but it's like oh you're so oh i want to take that mango i should probably cut up that mango i think my you guys, I'm just like, so I haven't been in Cali for like, I want to say a week. And I'm just like, 
why did I even bother? Why didn't I just stay here? Like, I really, but then, you know, got to do it for my mom. I love my mom. So I don't want to chat too much. Did I even finish my story? So my uncle sent that paper. I didn't know because I wasn't here. But again, this isn't something that really, like maybe it'll pertain to me later on in my life, but it's not my business. And my uncle nor my auntie's like, like, hey, do you want to know what's going on? Like, no, it's, you know, they, they don't, they just keep it to themselves. So it's something that my grandfather, I guess, had amended recently with, I don't know, again, not my business. But, oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, puppy. How are you feeling? Hi, hi, hi. Oh my gosh, I'm already nine minutes in. My mom had to leave the door open at night because her tummy hurts. Poor puppy. I don't know what she ate. I don't know what my mom's giving her. My mom spoils them so much, and I said, please stop. But she's okay. Look at her living life. Goals. Good morning. So let me tell you what happened. Okay, so this is what happened. So I got back home, chilling. I think I was there for like a day or something. I don't even remember. Like the days are just like a blur to me. So I remember it was today, technically. It was Sunday. Over there. And the game was on Mexico, Korea. It was such an emotional game for me. Like I thought, I thought my reds were just so physical and I was like, what y'all doing, boo boo? But Mexico pulled through. Like I'm happy for both teams because it wasn't just like a blowout. Everyone's like, oh no, Korea's totally gonna lose. My reds gave it their all, so fighting. So I was watching the game and I remember it was like two o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I was like, oh, and I was so hungry. <laughs> And the whole time change just really messed me up, okay? Like the whole 16 hour, like what, it's like, is it? It's like 16 hour time change. And I'm doing this 16 hour fasting, like, nah, nah. It was just not working out. About two hours later, like I'm tossing and turning. I can't really get to bed. My mom calls me. Oh my gosh, my mom calls me. So, and she's panicky. And usually my mom's not like that. She's usually like composed. She doesn't flip out like that you have to come back you have to come back you have to come back and i'm like oh my gosh like what happened Quien se murió? like my mom's like panicky like you could tell she's nervous and i'm just like i have, what are you talking about this is me being like sleep deprived and i'm just like what of what she's saying trying to get like in sleep mode but then my mom's like tripping out over here I ask her like what's going on and she's like i forgot to give you the paper i forgot to give you the paper that i signed I said, what are you talking about? And she's like, have you talked to your uncle? I said, no, he hasn't called me yet. Like, mm -hmm. And she's like, well, you need to get home. And that was pretty much it. That was a conversation because I think my mom was working. Maybe 30 minutes go by and my uncle calls me. And it's not, actually it was strange because it was like, what, four o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it was like super early in the morning. My uncle wakes up super early anyways. My uncle, he, I call him dad, like I really do. And he was just like, how are you, et cetera. And we just chat for a little bit. And he's like, oh, by the way, I'm gonna go to Korea like next week, like mid next week. Like, you know, where do you wanna meet? Or do you want me to go to your house, blah, 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 blah. And so we're chatting it up. And then he's like, oh, you, for you remember to bring the paper, right? I was like, what paper? What are you talking about? Like, he just said it like that. He didn't say your mom gave it to you. And then he said, the paper your mom signed. And I was like, uh, I was like rethinking to what my mom had just told me. I was like, my mom didn't give me a paper. He's like, what? And he got like, he got annoyed. He's like, Ugh. he got annoyed. I know he did. I know my uncle. <laughs> and he said, this isn't going to work out. Like my family, like my mom's side of the family, is just very paranoid with certain things. And the first time this happened, I told to my uncle, and I shouldn't have, because you know you shouldn't speak back to your elders, but I said, why can't she just mail it? Like, mail it to you? And he was like, no. You no, know, you kid that you don't. Anyway, so in case you're wondering why they didn't just mail it, like my uncle mailed it to her, why can't she mail it back? He was just like, I can't believe you wouldn't even say that. Like, this is a really big deal. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. So I didn't say anything this time. I said, no, my mom didn't give me anything. I guess I'm going to go back home. And he said, okay, good. So then I'll see you here later. <laughs> I was literally there for a couple more hours and then got back to the airport. 
It was the most uneventful trip. But this happened exactly the same thing. I got home and you know, my mom's happy. Like she's like, okay, good, you're like, you're here. And I'm like, mom, like I was literally there for like a day and a half or something, oh, two days, I don't even know. And she just looked at me and she knows like, I'm really, really tired. And she's just like, I'm sorry. Like I just, I completely forgot. And even though you, first of all, I guess I didn't really, like I said, this was not planned. So she thought I was going to New York and then I was just going on vacation. She didn't know going to Korea until I was talking to her on the phone and I was like, oh, mom, like I'm thinking about going back home and just checking up on everything. And then maybe she kind of thought like, oh, she's gonna could have said like, hey, stop by here again. And they get the put like, whatever. Anyways, everything happens for a reason. That's my story. I'm sorry for gapping. I should really get going because I really want to do this uh, wear test. Yesterday, you guys, I had the dopest salad. I was just like, oh. I've never really been a salad person. Person. not that I don't have anything against salad I'm just that random weirdo that does not put dressing on the salad absolutely not I just don't do dressing with my salad once in a blue moon you know if you go to an Italian restaurant and they have like their homemade salad dressing like it's usually bomb but very rarely and my coworkers, like everyone that I've ever met that's like from here in like America they're just like so you just eat lettuce I'm like I mean I guess I just I don't like it with dressing like what's the point of eating a salad if you're gonna dip like I know people maybe you do too that like just drench the whole thing with ranch or some kind of dressing it's like what's the point this isn't even healthy anymore I'm gonna stop blabbing I'm gonna get to working out for a little bit for an hour hopefully I can do an hour the last time I tried working out, I don't know if it's because I'm still like my body's still getting used to this fasting, but I could not do an hour. I think the best I did was like 40 minutes. I could not do it. I was like, nope. But I feel that since I'm drinking a lot more water, obviously, I am sweating a whole lot more, a, a lot easier. So I think hopefully like my metabolism is getting better. I hope. But anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing because I'm just talking way too much. So I'm back. I haven't gone on vacation. I'm a little annoyed to be honest and I'm sorry if I, it, it seems that way. Like all in all, like I was just talking to my mom before she left. I was like, I think it's a sign like I shouldn't go. Like maybe something's gonna happen. She's like, no, don't say that, don't say that. Because my mom's like trips out about those kinds of things. I mean like any mom would. There's just so many things going on and I'm just like, Ugh. I really feel like I need to focus on my YouTube. Like I really do. There's just been so many opportunities that I haven't taken in regards to managing my time efficiently and YouTube is just one of those things like I have so many ideas I want to expand out I don't just want to do Mac calls you know and I really just want because we need to save up money like that's just the reality of the situation with my mom I don't want to go ahead and tell my mom this but I need to like you know kind of make it obvious like I really really need to step it up when it comes to YouTube and my brother's like oh by the way oh my gosh oh my gosh like literally was it yesterday it was probably the day before but i don't even know what day that was but today's sunday yesterday was sunday god this is so wrong this is so wrong on so many different levels so i just found out that i hit 10k subscribers on my youtube channel which to some people that might not seem like a lot but girl i was stuck at like 9,000 for like i want no joke i want to see a year and a half if not two years no lie no lie so for me it's a really really big deal so i finally hit 10k i'm gonna have like a huge huge giveaway because i have so much makeup as you know that i've just been oh this is gonna be for the giveaway this is gonna be for the giveaway so i'm so excited anyways so i'm gonna let you guys go because i'm just chatting your ear off and you're probably like what just happened